If you are a woman who, quite frankly, is losing her sex drive, there may be something more to it. It's testosterone, possibly. Dr. Clark Hansen is here from the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine to talk more about testosterone for women. It's good to see you, Dr. Yeah, Hansen. Thank you. I think a lot of women think testosterone, like, oh, that's the guy thing. Yeah. It's going to make me big and bulky, and it's nothing well, to do with that, yeah, right? Yeah, it's kind of some misconceptions because women sure. have testosterone also. Men have 10 times more than a woman, but a woman has it also. And so it really is, has a lot of different effects that women don't know about. Most people just associate it with sex drive or bodybuilding. Sure, But right. it really goes to the heart of the matter at love and heart because it relates to affection and kind of love, but also actual buildup of plaque in the arteries. Testosterone prevents plaque from building up and prevents heart attacks. Wow. Testosterone is real important to lower cholesterol and keep the cholesterol low to build up the good the HDL cholesterol, and so it's real important for the heart. Besides low sex drive, low libido, what right. other things should you look for if you think maybe your testosterone levels are low? Well, a lot of things besides um, the sex drive, it's just affection. You just kind of lose sensation, lose attraction to a mate, and a f persistent fatigue. A lot of women have just fatigue, men and women, of course, loss of muscle mass people recognize. Um, as we age, you're kind of just losing muscle mass. That's a prominent thing. Increased abdominal fat. Women are telling me, and men, they're just all of a sudden gaining weight as they approach this kind of 45, 50 year old age at, because of low testosterone. And of course, we talked about the increased cardiovascular disease, but also mood. It strengthens muscles, but it also strengthens the, the mood and emotions. Yeah, I think a lot Anxiety, of people look depression. at that list and can relate to that. Yeah. So, it's real important, especially men don't know they even have low testosterone sometimes, but if they got high cholesterol and low HDL, then they should check their testosterone. But a lot of women just say, you know, I, I just don't feel the same anymore. I just don't feel the same interest, no sex drive, and the abdominal weight gain, all these symptoms are related to testosterone, but also depression. That's a real common one too. So it affects the mood, the, the muscles, the muscle of the heart. It's really important to get it checked. You have an example of a workup that you did on somebody that we want to yeah. take a look at because I think a lot of people say have their doctors check it and they're not really sure what to look at. But I think it helps to relate yeah. to patients. So here's a typical okay. patient, 56 year old woman, comes in with hot flashes. So that's the main thing is keeping her up at night, can't sleep, day and night hot flashes, vaginal dryness. Those are both typically estrogen um, symptoms, but also the vaginal dryness can relate to testosterone deficiency. And low sex drive, of course, that's testosterone. This woman said, I don't think I ever really had a sex drive. I have none now and no sensitivity. Depression, she was just really depressed. That's a testosterone symptom. Anxiety, which is really the natural progesterone, is a natural anti-anxiety medicine. And the weight gain in the abdomen, and again, testosterone. So we see out of all these symptoms, mostly it's testosterone deficiency that's related to all those. So it's important to have hormone replacement therapy of some kind, correct? Yeah, so I just think everyone needs to get these things tested. tested. You just really need to know what your hormones are. We can test these now, just like you test cholesterol or your blood sugar, and it's so important to get them all in balance because they, it's not just a vanity thing, it's not just the way you feel, it actually is your heart. The number one cause of death for a man or a woman is heart disease, heart attack. I see. And it can be related to testosterone as the principal cause, so you should get that tested but also just the general sense of well-being, the energy, all those things that relate to how we feel, relate to all the hormones, and we need to keep them balanced. That's what I was going to ask you. It sounds like all three of them that you mentioned, they need to work together. So if you're low in testosterone, are you probably low in the estrogen and the progesterone exactly. as well? Exactly, probably low in everything. As we start losing our, our hormones at about age 35, they start to go down, but they don't go down evenly. Sometimes they, one goes down, then the other, and they get out of balance. If we can keep them in balance, we can protect not only our heart, but prevent cancer. Because the natural progesterone and the natural estriol are anti-cancer hormones. I see. And we want to check for estradiol. I think we have a right. slide that shows right. all of the different hormones you should test. We test all these in our office. So okay. the estradiol is the estrogen that is the bad estrogen. That's associated with cancer. It actually is a cancer-causing hormone. Estriol is the anti-cancer hormone. It protects us. That's the one I prescribe. I say, okay. don't get estradiol. That actually increases a woman's risk of breast cancer by 10%. Estriol will actually prevent it by 30%. Gotcha. They so, sound very similar, so be careful. Yes. Right. And progesterone prevents bone loss as well as it's that natural calming influence. DHEA and testosterone. DHEA is made by the adrenal glands. 
it gets converted into testosterone. Right. So we need to measure them all and keep them in balance. Then you can have that full, vibrant life that you wanted to have that you thought was just a thing in the past. It doesn't have to yeah, be. Yeah, and I'm sure there are people watching right now who do feel that way. So you have a special offer so they can get checked yeah, and see what's going on. Yeah, we want everyone to go to our website, learn more, get the information that's there, sign up for our newsletter. If you do, you will automatically be registered for a drawing for a free testosterone test. So we can find out what your level is. You'll know how you rate, and you can get it up to the right balance if you're out of balance. And we want everybody to come and see us. Call us, learn more information, really find out what your levels are, and get the whole host of those hormones balanced sure. so you can really get your optimal level of health. Very important. Thank you, Dr. Hansen, right, for you. explaining that. We appreciate that. So if you would like more information, of course, on Dr. Hansen or what we just talked about or the offer he mentioned, just go to drhansen.com. There is the phone number right there on your screen.